crime break. Yo, what's up, my loyal subscribers? This is episode 11, Crane Brave. Yeah, I've been having some troubles with my internet, so, um, we might record today's game and it might not even save, but we're just gonna f***ing send it anyway, let. That's what we're about here. It's Crane Brave, baby. Crane Brave. Alright, we're here with Tris Marigold. Hey, Tris. Well... Well, 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 well my dear. Oh, <laughs> well, 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 let's well. go then. <sighs> Come on, Tris, let's totes hop in this gnar basement right now. Come on, girl, let's go. Oh, who wants to fight? Who wants to fight? I'm ready. I'm ready. Fight me. Fight me now. Oh. Okay, I wasn't ready. What the? What the what? Bro. Bro, what the? Bro. Bro. Was it just me? Or does this drowner play for the NBA or some shit? What the f This drowner was on HGH or some Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Klug wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> oh no, Tress. I'm carrying too much stuff, Tress. I gotta dump some stuff. Sorry, Tress. Do I need to art this or something? Tress, what's going on, Tress? Well, I don't know, Tress. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Hey, give me those. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll kill you again. Keep looking at me like that, and I'll kill you again. Mother f Alright. Alright, Trace, help me out here. I, I don't know what the f we're doing. I wasn't listening. Trash! I wasn't listening to you, Trash! It's he. Boom. Open sesame. Oh, here it is. Trash, it's like totes over here, Trash. Free city of Nomadland. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason some new mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nui thought they'd be safe from Rat of its Reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Trash. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. You tell it's gotta take a death, Trash. Right, parcel. Well, that's probably it, isn't it? One of them. I'll take it all. <laughs> Trash, you're missing out. Matty ball. Matty ball salt. Oh yeah, boy. I tell it's gotta get back to Tress. With Cleog's bag. Tress. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? 
Nothing you shut like up. a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few Yummy. fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. You're lying. We didn't find any of that stuff. I was there. The You're such a liar, so girl. <laughs> You're a doll. You're a doll, Trass. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. What? Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Great okay, right. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring Greetings, Fathead. You told him you're a sorceress. Problem? Is that a problem? Okay. The eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Mm, half in advance sounds fair. But I feel like I'm gonna get... Whatever. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine, a full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat related. Oh, what the? They're doing pest control? What I'll the cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence oh. of rat activity. Mm hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like. Where, but where am I gonna find Girl, we'd rat both activity? Rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place um, this incense, I can see there. rats in I'll front of me. Spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense. Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. I'm looking for Stop evidence whining. of rat activity. I can see a rats right in front of me, but looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon, I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't what help the? but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. He's trying to kill us. I don't want to starve to death in this city, girl. No way can I do that. Come on, girl. We gotta stop these rats. Uh, is the rats? If if I plugged every hole in there. All right, get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Oh yeah. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. 
I think he just didn't have much of a choice. Hmm. Hmm. We all lie sometimes, but lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. True that, Tris, true that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Hmm. Honestly, I don't really know. I've seen her like once. Don't know yet. <laughs> Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? Shut up, we just did it. The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Oh. Didn't have the heart to refuse. You bought my trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Oh, I'm gonna kill him too. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a burden left in the granary. That was a good I choice from me. Advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such as life for Oh, I hope I get to kill you as well. Days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Your mum is to leave here alive. Oh. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Ah, you're dead. Bang, bang, bang. Bastard hired me on the ascension. Oh. I want to kill him. You, we need to find Brandon. Ah, uh, time to die. Don't kill me, good sir. No, they forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. No, they wouldn't. The they would have never known. No, no mercy. I'm gonna kill you. If I get the choice, Spare I'm gonna me, kill you. Good man. Be not like those murderers. No, you're dead. Shut you're up. You're dead. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Triple. F f f fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Let's try it, Bot Munch. Don't ever do that again. You should try to keep better company. Yes. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. We should at least try. She's I'll taking try a job out. close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. Oh no. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You too, you Charles. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Right, accent still gets me. Two hundred XP from that. Hmm, what quests do I have? Oh, you got dreaming. 
So I had to be level 10 to come to Novigrad. And then the next mission in Novigrad is level 7. Makes no sense, mate. Makes absolutely no sense. He gets black mistels from the Ornsvik. Oh yeah, we'll just we'll just keep grinding the main story. Cream breaks. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like the video for Graham Stefan. Um, like it right now. Like it for Graham Stefan. Please do what he says. Um, also comment uh, your whole life story in 500 words. Go now. Just do it passing now. by, wanderer. Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. Rudolf de Jonkier. My Wanker. ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Oh, Didn't need a Wanker. recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. Okay. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Let me in? <laughs> Let me in? <laughs> Sister, why do you care about... Why are you standing here? Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... Disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. Oh, this is about to be interesting. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Let me in? I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Buttons, economically. Is that right? That's right, my friend. Uh, haunted house. Stop being haunted. Stop being haunted right now. Or, I'll give you a little smack, mate. Who wants to get demolished by the Witcher? Oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that right now. I'll teach you a lesson. Ugh. Yuck. The godling. Where's he gone? Cheeky bugger. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. I think she's stuck in dream state. The doll. The attic. Off oh, this mission. Mm, let it be over. All right. Time to check the attic. Let it be Stop. over. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Can I search her? Uh, I don't like this mission. I already want it to be over. That's blood. Don't spill it. Too spooky for me, man. Too spooky for me. Can I read this? Stop. Go away. Uh, uh, Child or not? Whoever's giggling, you're gonna get up. Stop that giggling. Not funny. Put it down, please. 
There's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Oh, shut up. Uh, this little Johnny, you look like Johnny. You're gonna get f***ed up. Way to the next room's blocked. Hmm. Why is that? Hard. Alright, right, kid, stop f***ing around. It's not funny. Not funny, kid. Stop it. Paper on a hastily driven by child. Oh, there was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Um, probably nothing good. Most likely. Uh, this is not fun. This. Uh. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No oh, joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Oh, the oven. Oh, Stop fucking around. The little ones in there. Yes, you little. Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? If I get the choice, I, I will I kill you. Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? Not when you look like that. Fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'm not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Bro, go play Xbox or something. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? Oh, relax. It looks like one and that's like one. Trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty, so I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. Or we'll find your I new home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Let's find something. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend, not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hope this that works. Often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. That was very reasonable of you. Hello. Good morning.
Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. Mm. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? One million dollars. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Oh, that worked out well. Okay, brave. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Um. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Oh, easy. Finished. Oh, I don't get experience points for that. I believe I see a challenger who seeks to subdue pile driver. What she cried. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yes. Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. What a dumb name. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. About what? Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Mm, tell me first. How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Mm, nah. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. Oh, alright, I better win. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Oh man, you are ugly. Oh, he's strong. Never mind. That's it, you're in for it. Bang, bang. Wait, all you got is his haymaker. He has no jabs, no nothing. Oh. Yeah. Bang, bang. Strong, strong. Bang, 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 bang. Bang. Oh. Hey, make a ooh, ooh. Hey. Easy. Geralt, baby. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenford Gate. Thank you. Why don't you all just get off Thank you, back? ugly. That's what you get for calling me grey head. Ugly head. Crane brew. Boom. I'm here now. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. 
We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Okay. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Alright, let's do it. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Um... She was there when I died, what the... Oh man, am I meant to know this? Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. Yeah, only helpful. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Can I trust her? I'll tell her something more. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. <laughs> it wouldn't be funny if I just say that's it. that's everything. That's everything. <laughs> Let's continue, please. <laughs> yep, that's it. the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. Mm -hmm. I see. Do you wish to say more? Mm, oh, they're gonna punish me, punish me if I don't. Yeah, there's something else. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. Do they? Do they call her that? They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Um, I don't know. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot.
Is she gonna f*** me over? Oh, dandelion, the bard. The swallow from her sword. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him? Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Oh, wow. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Oh, what? Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find You know where it is? It's gonna be where that, that green stash sign was. So when Siri was at the Barrens, there was a green stash and there it is. That's where she was. I think that's how you tell where she is in every place. So there was this. Why don't I hear any music? Where's the music gone? See, that's where she stayed when she was at the Barrens. And then I might have edited out the video, but I did say that's where she would have been. Hundred experience points. What? What are you standing on the chair for? Get down from there. <sighs> Silly girl. Get off. Get off. Oh. And and clean this place up. It's a mess. And and this is mine. And this is mine. And this is mine. And anything else? Uh, this is mine. You you won't be needing that. All right. Bye. Right, thank you. Let's go here and take everything or mine. Seen any brown filly? What happened? Any last words? Huh, easily. Easily. Dead easy. Will I get in trouble for doing that? What the what? Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth. Wow. I'm looking for dandelion. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zolt, with your oh. boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? The local colour. I wasn't they gone more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right. You're gonna get time killed. for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? I'll kill them. With pleasure. What? Bang, bang. Strong. Bang, bang. Us, us, haymaker. Lodge. Bang, bang, bang. Haymaker. Yeah. You gotta get it. We never left Virgin. 
Can't see, can't see. Oh, you got him. Very good, very nice, very nice, Sultan. Ah, uh, please, that went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Off, Geralt. <laughs> Need to spill your guts to me now. I'm looking look for Siri. Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her! Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? Where's Dandelion? Ha! <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale? What do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead? Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! <laughs> Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Is yes, Billy it? Connolly. It does this suit me. Verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. All right. So, me and Billy Connolly gotta go find these girls he's been talking to. Let's go. Do you know where Dandelion is? Where's Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> Read Dandelion's. Oh, I just had it. 
Rosa var atra, like a rose abashed of its crimson, cri crimson hue. Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with a vigility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Guldorf. Molly, though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped it in lust's embrace. Guldorf, villa next to the morgue. The Spiola, though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dip her? Far corners, laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. Marabella, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors. Standing on stage, her squawks are drone, drowned by snores. <laughs> the bits near Palpers Square. Ellie Hal, a figure most rare, her natural dual. Dual, look her deep in, look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. Taylor shop across from the tannery. That sounds completely useless. Vespula. Still here, looking for something. Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Uh, I just got 500 points for that. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. I'll just go. Well, Fun. Know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. There's no music. Okay, ropes. Tameria will be free again one day. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! Oh, I'm gonna kill you. What you hollering for, stupid wanks? What are you hoping for? I'm gonna kill you. Armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. You're dead. I'm gonna kill you. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? First of all, put some pants on. Mine offered her a better rate. All right. So let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Bro, put some pants on, bro. Oh, oh! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! Gonna burn ya! Alright, long range is down. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Oh. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... Her shoulders are missing. Dandelion out through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. 
surprise bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the <laughs> last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Hmm. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. <laughs> Horse sits so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Imperial <laughs> lackey. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to cut this episode short. It's past my bedtime. Please subscribe. I have no friends. This was Crane Brave. Bye bye. Crane Brave. Perfect.